Hi there, it's Christine, and today I'm going to start off by showing you a little bit about the We Are Memory Keepers Laser Square. Um, I had tons and tons of comments throughout the series about this tool, and so I wanted to show you a little closer up what it looks like and how it comes apart and such. So as you can see, right now you're seeing it in its deconstructed mode. Um, I obviously had it together most of the time on video when I was showing you, and it just slides together, and it can slide together the tall way too, I don't know. Oh what I would ever use that for, but I'm sure if I wanted something really tall, there might be a use for it. Um, and then the mat comes together also. The mat splits in the middle. I don't really care. It's a negligible quality for me. It it definitely makes it a little more portable um, and it goes together very smoothly, so it doesn't really affect the performance by any means. I like that the whole thing comes apart pretty easily so I can use it while I want it in front of me and then get it out of the way nice and easily. No more work and no more room taken up than really a paper trimmer. You can see it's got the two lights. Um, you can turn those on together or individually. And it's it's been a fun tool. I've had it for about a month now. And you know, it was a little pricey, so I hemmed and hawed about getting it. And then ultimately I decided I really did want it. <laughs> when you keep going back and looking for something consistently, it's a good sign that you actually do want it, even after a couple months. So I did go for it and I will put a link down below. Um, I have an affiliate link to scrapbook.com for it. So if you are looking to get it and are interested, just keep an eye on scrapbook.com. They have it on sale pretty regularly. Um, in fact, I, I very rarely seen it actually at full price. So just keep an eye on that and keep an eye on your emails from them or from other places to see if you can get a good deal on it. And if you do get it, I'd love to hear how you like it and how you're using it and so on and so forth. Um, Cause it's definitely become a favorite staple of mine. So now the next thing I wanna do is run through my layouts from the last week, as well as pick a winner. There were just an unbelievable amount of comments, and thank you for that. Um, so this was my first layout from day one, which seems like ages ago. This one had a good classic look, and then this was my second day's layout. And this one, I took the mixed media route and really loved it. And then my third one is from a more subtle approach, uh, more subtle black and white and such, and, you know, tackling those little boy layouts. And then this one was probably my favorite of the week, and I think it was a favorite for a lot of you, too. Um, I loved how the dimension came out and all the color came out, and it just... <laughs> I don't know where that came from in my brain. I hope I can do it again. <laughs> um, this one had a more graphic, uh, vibrant feel to it. And, you know, again, I just, you're look, I'm looking at these and going, well, my brain works in a lot of really unique ways. <laughs> um, it's been so much fun to do it and to look back and see all the different results that came out of creating these. And there's my last day. So out of the just hundreds of comments, I went through and narrowed it down to a day, and then I narrowed it down to an actual comment uh, between mine and my friends' pages, and the winner is the Becca JB. So go ahead and be looking for a response from me with my email address, Becca, and I will uh, get that gift card out to you. But huge, huge, huge. Um, thank you to all of you who took the time to visit me and my friends the last week. Uh, there were so many comments, so many wonderful, kind comments, and my friends were just so excited about how many comments they were getting as well. So thank you so much. I will be back with another series sometime soon based on your recommendations.